I mean, um, I just try to come to work every day and show that I'm, um, well, I want to be a player in this league. So I don't know. I don't really verbalize it, but I try to just go out there and practice as hard as I can. excited to see how your role is expanding by the day. Yeah, I mean, whatever they have in store, whatever's planned, I'm ready for. So for me, my approach stays the same, just going out there, working hard, and continuing to stay in my playbook and whatnot. What was, when you first were drafted, what was your thought process of what you could do in this league? And has that changed at all now that you're to this point? Again, uh, mindset has always been the same for me. I've got a great foundation back home, surrounded by a lot of people. Um, it's built upon hard work. Um, faith, trust in myself, trust in my craft, and just leaning back on that when times get hard. So uh, when I heard my name called, it was the same thing. Um, go work hard, set some goals, um, and try to accomplish them. Um, so I think, you know, that goal will always be a thing for me, whether I'm 22 or I'm 35. So. What does it mean uh, to you and the guys in the room about everybody learning how to play every position at White House? Yeah, I think it's great um, for us. And, and Sean Jay was really tough on us in OTAs and during the off season of like, yo, you guys are going to be moved around. And, um, you know, it's it's helped us tremendously throughout camp, just being able to go inside, outside, whatever, just opening up the playbook, understanding concepts, um, not just realizing what you have, but what we're trying to get accomplished. So um, to expand our minds and and, and make it hard on us and make us go play different positions has helped, you know, all of us not only just learn the game of football, but open up the playbook for us as well. You might not necessarily play other positions. I mean, you will, for sure, they, inside and outside, but not everybody's going to move around. Like, is this a concept, a lesson? Or will you, will you guys actually really move around? Yeah, that's above my pay grade. I, <laughs> I don't know. You know, A.J. Green in the offseason was asked uh, how much he felt like he left out there last season. He said a lot. Yeah. How about you? I try to give it my all every time I'm out there, but you know, as a player, as a competitor, you always feel like you can give more. Um, when you go pull up the film, there's always things that you know stick out to you. And again, as a competitor, you want to go out there and give 110. percent But of course, um, when things start moving around, there's some some blocks you may miss, or you may only get half of a guy, and he ends up making the tackle, or even like a body catch. Like at the end of the day, these guys are pros. We work hard. Like. You don't want to catch the ball with your body. You want to catch it with your hands. So um, it could be in that area. It could be, um, again, a missed assignment. It could be a missed block. It could be a slowing down on a go ball that you should have got to. And um, I think that's what A.J. means in a sense. A.J. is a pro in, in every, um, I guess, sense you could think of, man. He comes out to work and um, doesn't complain, doesn't say his age, doesn't – say he has this mileage or this many years or whatever. So um, for AJ to say that is crazy because, you know, I, I, I guess I go out there and look at AJ like, oh, this dude, is, this dude works. So <laughs> that's actually crazy. So you said you, you have the complete route tree, but maybe we didn't see it last year. Is that something you would look forward to displaying more this year? Yeah, again, man, I, I um, this off season I just kind of worked on the same things I've been working on and whatever they throw at me, I think I'll be ready. So uh, whatever comes with it, I'll, I'll be here. Who stood out to you in the uh, wide receivers room so far this training camp? Everybody, man. I think we've all took huge steps. Um, again, with just learning how to play inside, outside. Um, I think guys really put in work during the off season, and I think we got a really fast group. Um, expanded our knowledge of the playbook, so it's been really fun to go out there and play fast and just have fun with the guys. How do you approach preseason games personally? Like, is that something you look forward to playing in? Are you? to the kind of guy who's like, I'd rather just have the practice and speed me to the regular season. How are you kind of looking at it? Yeah, I think I, I still stand in the same position I did last year. I think it's different for everyone. Uh, I think for me personally, it'll be beneficial um, just to go out there and get some looks, get some full speed reps, um, continue to learn. I've got a long way to go. So um, just continuing to get better, see different looks, learn, um, get comfortable, catch the football, build some confidence, all those kind of things. National perspective on this team regarding you when it comes to people picking out possible breakout players for 2022 and your name. It's on a lot of those lists. How does that make you feel? And is that something you want to see happen? Again, I just go out there, same mindset, just trying to get the job at hand done and uh, continue to keep my face, stay humble, trust my craft, trust my coaches, um, continue to work. You, uh, you said you, you set goals. 
Are they tangible goals? Are they number goals? Are they more intangible kind of things? How do you look at it? It's a ton of different goals. Um, I think obviously the end goal for all of us is to go hang a banner up and win a Super Bowl in February. Um, I think for me, I won't I won't say them, but you know I they've always been a thing for me. Just continuing to work. I I guess I set long term goals in a sense, and I just know that uh, to accomplish those, I got to put the work in. Um, so I kind of just just go with that. Just continue to put the work in. I don't really set like. I want to do this by then, this by that. I just have like, I want to do this, get this done. So just keep working. How do you feel about possibly running the ball from time to time, like you did a little bit, maybe more this year? Again, whatever they've got in store, I am willing to do. So let's rock. When you line up and the corner has the mitts on, yeah. you feel like, okay, all right, now it's a level playing field? <laughs> um. Yeah, I, that's probably tough on a defender, uh, especially with when you have like five yards to kind of beat the receiver up. So a lot tougher on them than it is for me. But, you know, I guess I get excited when I see the mitts. <laughs> <laughs> How often is a receiver just in general? Do, do you get held? Grab? Mm, again, they got five yards to pretty much do whatever they want. So after that, I'm sure you'll get some tugs here and there, but nothing too extravagant, hopefully. Jefferson said he wanted to see you and Hollywood run a race. Yeah. Who would win? I'm going to take myself. Hollywood can run, though, for sure. For sure. <laughs>